G'day guys, and welcome to G-Man Speaks. Today we're gonna to take a look at a video by a YouTuber called Wheat Waffles, and the video is called Giga Chad. This tender experiment proves how easy it is for the top 5% of guys. So this is just an experiment. I, I like to do these every now and again, so I think they're quite funny um, to see the, the polarizing results between your sort of average guy um, and a guy who is, you know, um, from the outside at least, uh, far more attractive. So, without further ado, let's have a let's have a bit of a laugh at it. I think it's uh, quite telling. Four months ago, I released this video, half a million views and counting. It was about a Tinder experiment of an average-looking guy, and today I am going to be showing the results of another experiment, but this time of a top ten percent man. This is my friend Men's Maxing, who's so. Just so you know, this channel. I'm not really sure what he does. Um, I think he's about uh, optimizing your profile and he gives people tips uh, about how to looks max. I've never really heard that saying before. It must be a young person speak, right? But looks maxing is just doing all the little things you can to get little incremental percentage changes in your appearance to try and then maybe get some more action on the dating apps, guys. I think, I think it's more for, for young guys, I think. Um, but I thought it was really telling. Clearly got his looks on point. Looks good. Immediately you can see the difference in attractiveness of the two. Men's Maxing has a leaner face around the cheeks and jawline, has a thicker neck, more symmetrical nose and better eye area with more masculine eyebrows too, all compared with the average guy who is lacking in these areas. Because of this... There's no way, that guy's not 10%, he's like a 2%, this dude. I don't know what they're talking about. 10% or 1%. This man falls in the average looks range of about a 5 or 6. While, without a doubt, men's maxing falls into the Chad category and scores an 8 out of 10. Ah, oh, he's better With than that. this in mind, we'd expect him to get way better results on Tinder. And this is exactly what I have lined up for the video. Let's see if Mr. Chad can do better than the three dates in four months disaster from the last one. We'll start with the profile. Here are the images he used, all eight of them. You can see it is quite a gym focused profile, with half of them being shirtless, which isn't always- This guy's got like a top 1% rig on him, if not like 0.01%. Like this is good. A very good physique, guys, from someone who has done a lot of gym um, and bodybuilding in the past. It's a very, very good body. Um, so he's not in the top 10%. This guy's top one, 0.1% dude. I've never even seen a guy who looks like that in person. Like, so there you go. The best to do, but he is giga jacked, so he can afford to show it off a bit more. However, personally, I would have removed maybe two of the topless ones to make the profile more balanced. Other than that, it's clear these are top 10% picks. He looks sophisticated, stylish, approachable. There's no terrible ones bringing his profile down. In these two, he looks like he's done some modelling work. So, as a whole, these picks are definitely placing him in the top 10%, and are way better than the ones from the previous experiment, which looked too friendzonable. For a little more info, it's also worth mentioning he's 5 foot 11 tall, 84 kg, 9% body fat. Tw I reckon, oh yeah, I reckon he's about that, if not, if not less. That guy, that's a fucking good rig. No homo, guys. I'm just um, saying this guy is like fucking top 0.1%, not 10%. 23 years old and lives in the third largest German city, Munich, which has a population of 1.5 mil. Next, moving on to the all-important bio. He used two bios, which he changed halfway through the experiments. The first being, the most beautiful curve on a woman is her smile. The bio doesn't matter, guys. They don't, they don't read it. I can tell you that right now. I've put all sorts of dumb shit in there before just to see if they read it or not, and, and, and they don't. Very, very few do. Yeah, I'll be asked, what, uh, where do I work? Or I never put exactly where I work, but I put my job, sort of the field that I worked in on there. They'd ask you, what do you do? It's like it's right there in the profile, like, like it hits you right in the face. So they don't, they don't read them, guys. They look at the picture, they like the picture, just like guys do, they have a swipe. There's no masterful secret. So all this bull crap about having witty profiles and prompts and all that, guys, I never did it ever, and, and I cleaned up on there, all right, because I was just so direct. 
And that's the best way to be. Straight to the point, guys. Don't waste time. But that's probably a topic for another video. I'm going to do another funny video um, about a younger guy soon um, who was asking 100 girls for, for BJs on there with a Chad profile and, and getting the results. I thought it was quite funny. Then the second was more basic. Masters of Science and AI. Self-improvement content creator. I'm looking for someone to build a connection with. I'm working a lot, but for a good relationship, I'll take a day off. So obviously you can see these two bios have different purposes. The first being more flirtatious and insinuating a casual relationship. Then the second presenting himself as an ambitious and relationship seeking man. You can say the first bio will attract more short term while the second more long term. However, interestingly, he told me that whichever bio he used made no difference in terms of match results or the way women exactly chatted right. to him. Don't give a shit. Which is basically what I've been saying on this channel all along. Bios don't matter. Women still sent flirtatious messages even when he was using the relationship bio. Oh. And the funniest thing he said, which happened several times, was women asked him, what are you doing in your life at the moment? Yeah. When it literally says on the first line he's studying for his masters in AI. Exactly right. Finally, before the results, the profile settings. He set the age range from 18 to 25. Max range to 100 kilometers. 100 kilometers, that's monster hunting at its best, guys. He's getting in his Vienna over there in Germany and just driving around and, and getting some clicks up on his car, man. On his Opal. Right, he's got the Opal there and he's just banging chicks in the back of it. 100 kilometer range. Never done that. Otherwise, that'll put me in the Pakenham and Geelong uh, territory. We don't want those birds, do we, boys? <laughs> He purchased Tinder Platinum for 35 euros, Far which out. basically increases his visibility. And lastly, he applied the setting which allows Tinder's algorithm to order his photos in the way it sees as optimised. Anyway, now on to the actual results. There's a lot of numbers here, so listen closely. He spent a total of six days swiping, and in that time he swiped 2,523 times. Or that's some that's that's rubbing your finger out, man. Four hundred swipes a day, is it? Yeah, it's about four hundred and twenty. A bit of quick maths there. Only four hundred a day. Of yeah. these, he swiped right on one thousand and nineteen. So he rejected fifteen hundred and four. I told absolute him rookie him to swipe right for absolute rookie. We swipe right on everything, guys. We're monster hunting here, all right? We don't we don't we don't reject right? unless they're absolutely putrid. <laughs> You swipe it on everything. Like that. Girls, five and up. So 40% of them met this standard. Of the 1,019 he swiped right on, he matched with 146 and didn't with 873. Wow. Which isn't actually that bad. That's a one in seven match rate. Yeah, that's pretty what good. That's pretty good. What's that? That's about 14% roughly. Yeah, that's very, I think that's very good. Way better than the 1 in 27 match rate from the last video where he got nothing from over 7,500 swipes. Jesus. Next, of the 146 successful matches, just 5 opened on him first, while he sent the first message to the 141 others. However, he did tell me he messaged immediately if and when he got a match. So some of the girls he opened could potentially have messaged him first if he left it a while. Then, of this 141, 87 responded to his opener, which means 54 didn't send a single message back. Next, of the 87 responses, plus the 5 that already opened on him, 68 of these made it past five messages, which you could class as short conversations. So guys, as I was saying in one of the videos, like, yeah, the good looking guys obviously get more percentage chance, right? So it's like, it's like you pull on the crank on the, um, uh, the way I used to do it is you pull on the crank on the, um, fucking, what do you call it? Pin, uh, the machine, right? The gambling, what do you want to call it? Right. 
um, pokies, all right? Because it's all chance. It's all chance. Like, yes, you have an increased chance, but you will get girls if you put in the time and you got a reasonable profile and stuff. If you just absolutely sit there all day. I used to do that, right? I admit it, right? I loved it. I loved it. I had so much fun monster hunting, guys. I would sit there all day and swipe and chuck the chicks and, you know, most of that effort would go to waste. Like, they'd, they'd flake and all that sort of stuff or not speak to you exactly like this guy. But, you know, the, the ones that you do get, you know, for me at that point in time, it was worth it because that, that's all my life revolved around at that time was trying to get chicks as a younger guy. I didn't care about anything else. So I spent three days trying to get a chick and I get one. Awesome. That, that's, that's a good rate for me. So 24 never got off the grounds. Then of this 68, this resulted in a little under half of them giving their number, which was 32. So the other 36 either fizzled out or refused to give their number. Next, for the 32 numbers our guy received, this is where he started getting a little lazy. He only bothered to message 12 of the girls on WhatsApp. So the other- Gotta message them all boys, you never let an opportunity go. The other 20 were left in the dark after giving their number. And if I'm honest, this is the only major point I think our guy could have done better. He's essentially let two thirds of his potential results leak out through this mistake alone. And this is after he's already done a lot of the work by matching, messaging and getting their number. But to give him a little slack, he did say the biggest bottleneck by far for him was time spent messaging. He said it got to the point where he started sending copy paste messages <laughs> to all girls two to three points below his level. I'll so just do it to all of them. I'll just do it to all of them. And I'll never, guys, so my tip um, for guys who actually want to increase your chances a little bit, don't go for the hot ones. They're too much work. They're, they're too much stuff in ground. And they're going to cost you money on dates and shit. And most likely, you're not going to get anything out of it, right? You've got to go for the ones that are two points below you. That's the, that's, that's the strategy that's successful. Oh, no, G-Man, I only go for hot chicks. No, you don't. You're a liar. You're a liar. you got to go for the fatties. you got to go for the, you know, the ones that aren't so great. The plain James. Take them on. Take them on, boys. you got to do it. It's community service. They need love. And you're the man to do it. So he only Actually, what I'm going to do, guys, before I keep playing, about halfway through, gents. So if you have not subbed to the channel uh, and you're enjoying the content, please subscribe and please watch the video through to the end if you want to support my channel because that is what YouTube uh, uses to promote and get me out further, which is the watch time. And if you want to check out the Patreon, guys, link in the description and pinned comment. Cheers. He put in effort and sent tailored messages to the hottest ones. Next, of the Waste 12 the conversations on WhatsApp... He offered dates to six of them, so the other six went cold after a short while. <laughs> then finally, of these six attempts, one started making endless excuses yep. for why she can't go, Flaky. another blocked him as soon as he offered, so at last, for the other four, they all said yes and actually showed up too. Anyway, there are your results, and now in short form. Our guy swiped right 1,019 times, which led to 146 matches, which then led to 32 phone numbers, and finally he offered six dates for which four said yes. Not As I said, guys, it's a numbers game. Numbers, numbers, numbers. Guys think uh, these guys go on there and just clean up. No, it's the same amount of work. You just got a higher percentage chance. But look at that. It's this got this model guy. Oh, he's like a very attractive dude, very, very fit, all that probably on paper what every chick wants, and he only got four dates out of it, out of a thousand likes. So what's that? 0.4%. Bad for six days worth of work. And now to show you further proof of how easy it was, here are some screenshots of his message conversation showing the lack of effort and game required to still get women to follow along. Do you want to cure me for my loneliness? I don't speak German, babe. Love does not need a language. Drop me your number. Oh, that's 157. good. Hey. One night stands? Sure. Do you want to cure me for my loneliness? Come to my place. Where do you live? Frankfurter Ring. And you? Here's my Snapchat. Text me. For a peanut butter eater, you are in good shape. There needs to be a balance. I'd like to pick you up. 
But then I would also eat all your peanut butter. That would be bad. I would also f- <laughs> better. Legend. Nice. Are you going to give me your number? Zero, one, six. I like your style. Thanks. How about a round of hip hop dancing? I love that shit. No, but I can do a split for you. On the floor? You'd be cuter if you responded. On top of you. Oh, yeah. Hey, you over there. Hello. So... Are you going to give me your number? We'll set something up for later. I don't know you yet. That's what dates are for. <laughs> so, your number? O one seven. Hey, you over there? Do you have time this week? For what? A date. I'd love to, but this week I'm extremely busy. And all you want to have is s**t, right? Of course. S**t only. I'd do it, because I'm s**t, but I don't have time. Are you going to give me your number? We can set something up for later. Zero, one, seven. Guys, I'm telling you now, like, guys think that women are all sugar and spice and all things nice. I can tell you that, guys, from experience that they're not. And this is, this is tame for some of the shit that I used to do and say, right? That's why I'm laughing. I think it's funny. It's bringing me back memories. They're not sugar and spice, not spice, not things nice. They're men of the creeps, right? They're just as bad. They're just as bad as up, if, if not worse. They love it, guys. I love it. Just not with the large percentage of guys. <laughs> I want to do yoga with you. Really? Yes. When are you free? You'd be cuter if you responded. <laughs> Soon. Are you going to give me your number? Plus four nine one seven. So, as you can see, our guy was able to navigate his way texting with little to no resistance. Getting numbers with ease. The girls made references sometimes and in a few cases the girls double texted or opened on him which are both considered very strong choosing signals you know shit. and this is all on top of the fact that i don't even think his game was perfectly optimized he told me himself for a lot of messages he was joking around i mean i want to do yoga with you what is this crap if a sub 5 sent this, he'd never in a million years get the girl's number 5 messages like The sub 5 or whatever, the game doesn't really matter as long as you're not a complete um, retard, basically guys. Like, as long as you can string some sentences together and be somewhat funny, that's all you need. Because it all goes on the pictures. That's it. Like I sort of always been saying, I've been saying it for years to people who want to know game and all that. Guys, I've never picked up artists, I'm rough around the edges. I'm super direct and absolutely cleaned up on there, all right? You don't need any fine-tuning stuff, guys. Later. Put simply, only the top 10% of men get this kind of treatment online and the screenshots are there to prove it. Now, for the final few minutes of the video, I want to draw comparisons of our Chad's results today to the first experiment I showed of the normie four months ago. This is where you'll really see the difference being a Chad makes. So, follow along by allowing me to explain for the final three minutes, and I'll prove to you that Chads have approximately a ten times easier time on dating apps than normies. Here goes. I've stated before that Tinder for guys is like one big funnel. Yeah. And each layer leads to a smaller pool of options and more and more women leaking out. <laughs> so, by pictures. the end, your results are reduced to a mere handful. That's if you have any at all. And the point is, the efficiency of each of these layers is crucial. It's so true, guys. This is why I always okay, even explain it to guys. When I was out, guys, I'm done, I don't do this anymore. Right? I haven't done it in four four years or more. But I always used to talk about it like a sales funnel, right? Like you get your you get your leads, and then you work your leads down. You finally get a sale, right? It's like trying to sell anything um, or generate any sort of business. That's what you're doing. You're going out. You're trying to sell yourself. You're trying to you're trying to um, get leads going and then converting the leads. And there's a lot of things that happen along the way and then you drop off. And it's frustrating. A lot of guys get really frustrated with it. But if you just keep your head down and be persevere, persevere with it, uh, you do get them. It's just, you got to think, if I look back now, would I do that all again? 
I probably wouldn't spend all the time and effort that I used to do because it really didn't get me that much out of it, apart from the knowledge that I know now about how women operate and, and what goes on. So that is invaluable stuff to know. But if I think about it, I play thousands and thousands of hours, guys, if not more. I did it for like so many years. <laughs> like, But yeah, I had fun. Because the amount of leakage per layer multiplies with all of the others. E.g. an efficiency of 50% across a single layer is twice as good as 25%. But across four layers, having a 50% efficiency is 16 times more efficient than the 25%. And this is what we see in our experiments. If we break down each layer of leakage for both the Chad and Normie, we see that besides the first layer, which is the input, the next four layers yield far better results for the chads. Therefore, by the end... Give I don't know how this is shocking, guys. It's like, think about it. If you get these really beautiful women and you get some big fatty, all right? They're going to be way... They're going to get the, the same results too. Yeah, a lot of you dirty bastards at home, will, you will go and bang all the fatties and, and pump up their tires and get them all the action so their stats will be better than any almost good-looking guy. But that, that, that's true for women as well. So as humans, all right, I like, to, I like to be balanced, guys. I can't say women or whatever. And guys, guys are like that too. Guys will root anything. That's the reality of it. Anything with over a one out of ten, I reckon. That's my perspective. We've all gone dumpster diving and hunting for monsters in the bin, boys. All right, come on. Let's not lie about it. <laughs> Even the fact they multiply together, it leads to a ten times more efficient system. The normie swiped right 7,886 times, while the chad 1,019, eight times less. The normie got 290 matches, while the chad got 146, two times less. The normie uh, better conversion care. rates was because he had better game, bro. This is flat out wrong. He did better because of looks, not game. I don't need to reread his text comp ads will similarly the anyway guys i'm not going to go on about it right but this guy's pulling all the stats out going for full asperger's on us right but the reality is um uh, yes we know it's hard it's hard on dating apps um i'm going to do a few of these videos because i do find them really interesting the stats and everything but i'm not going to sit there and let the guy just read out all these the statistics it's boring i don't want you guys to be bored so that's it guys that's enough for today um i hope you enjoyed it I had a bit of a laugh along the way um and i'll see you in the next one guys cheers